Hi guys, welcome to Artistic Fridays. This is Juana, and I am making my first video on Snow Princess Craft YouTube channel, and I'm super excited because this is going to be a, a ton of videos on how to do all kinds of artistic things, and I'm super excited because I'm going to art school, and I just want to share all my art and all my thoughts with you guys. So. Today we're going to be making a necklace just like this one. Isn't it pretty? It's got the little bow and stuff. But instead of using a blue ribbon bow, we're going to be using a pink ribbon bow. You can buy bows at any craft store. What I did is I just took some leftover ribbon that I had and I just made a bow. Because it's cheaper that way. And out of a ribbon thing, you can make like 20 bows or something. Okay, so for materials, you're going to need some sort of bow. You're going to need jump rings, which you can get at like any craft store and stuff. Uh, you can get them in any sizes. I just grabbed what I saw because I was in a hurry. <laughs> you need something to clasp your necklace with, like this. They come in all different kinds, but this is my favorite. You're also going to need some sort of chain. I got this chain at Walmart for $4 for six feet because it's cheaper at Walmart and at Michael's it's really expensive. It's like $10 for like whatever. Okay. So you can use pliers too. They're optional, but I don't really use pliers because I can just do them with my hands. So I don't really think it's that hard. Sorry if I'm blinking a lot because this light is just super bright and I haven't found an a good place to film yet and art stuff everywhere in my house right now so I gotta fix that so what you're gonna do is you're gonna first step is gonna be attaching a ring here and attaching another ring here so I'm gonna attach this other one just to show you guys open up the ring and I'm going to put it in the top of this bow and then I'm gonna shut it until I'm ready to reopen it so it looks like that Okay, and I took this strand of uh, chain, which used to be way longer, but I split it into two pieces. Okay. Use pliers to do that. If you rip it, oh, yeah, it won't work right. Believe me, I tried. <laughs> so I added a jump ring here, and then I just slipped on the little C that's going to clasp my necklace together. I already did that step. Now, you're going to open one of the sides of the bow jump ring, and you're going to attach it to the bottom of one side of the chain, the other side of the chain, which might take a second if you're blind and you have a bright light shining in your face. Okay, so then you're going to shut it. You can use pliers to do that, but I just use my fingers. Then we're going to work on the other side. We're going to attach a jump ring here, just so it has something to clip onto. And then the other side, we're going to attach to the other jump ring, right here. So I open up this jump ring, and I'm putting this on, and then I'm shutting it. You want to make sure they're all the way shut so the bow doesn't slip off. Okay, and the last step is to add the jump ring on one side, the last side, and then shutting it. So you have to come across with you. Then you have a beautiful necklace like this, and you have a way to clasp it, which this chain I made is super long, so I could have just put it over my head, but I wanted to show you guys how to clasp, you know, make a clasp and stuff. You see? And then it hangs on just like that. Super awesome. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I'm going to be making Artistic Friday every Friday, and maybe some sort of artistic videos during the week and stuff because I just want to share my love for art and my inspiration that I get from art and the way I feel and stuff. So I'm going to be making all kinds of videos. So make sure you check in a down bar because there have my links there to my Etsy shop, my fan page on Facebook, my email, my blog, anything like that. And also if you do this awesome, you know, make this awesome necklace, then you should send photos to me on Facebook and things like that because I would love to see your guys' work. I really would. It would just make my day. 
So if you guys do that, that would be just awesome. And I'll be looking forward to making another video soon and seeing you guys soon. So I hope you guys have an awesome rest of the night. I'll talk to you later.